Africa, a long-standing campaigner against predators, is tonight ramping up her campaign and comes to our stage with her latest cry. Why? Why? You know, sexy it's... black man. You're sexy as well. Yeah. Okay. I take it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so are you? Thank you. Thank you. White top and the yes, man. We are Jamaican. And the, we are bringing the, the light and the bell bottom. I don't know where to plug Puma car and big up. And the new trend is the bell. The bell foot in Yes. Back. Yes. Yeah. I mean, a Jamaica. Which part bell foot in then? <laughs> a hot here. A hot here. We say trend. Yeah. All right. Well. It's on our stage, the return of the bells. The bells. Exactly. All right. Yes. Well, I'm going to get some bells. Yeah, man, them no. them go on. I'm sexy, I know. So, Queen, um, you've been doing this for a while, this campaign. Yeah. Are you making progress? Am I? I should ask you. You are on the front line. Well, Am you, I? Well, you are. To me, you are, because you are keeping this thing in the, in the limelight. You're, you're, you're bringing attention yeah, to man. it. Yeah, man. That, in and of itself, is 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 yeah. worthy of of our praise you yeah know what i mean you know i love so, my country yes i love jamaica the world by extension but yeah there i can't have it till me see things turn you know what i yes. mean it, 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 so the question is really about how you feel about the effort that you've put in and the returns that you are seeing okay. yeah well the sun come up every day and it no complain so we take that example there and we don't complain. We do it to the best of our ability. Any chance we get, any time at all, we are called upon. Yes. That's what we'll be doing, and we'll be doing it from our hearts. You know what I mean? Because music is the Bible that the people read. Do you have any understanding of why, why Jamaica is like this? Um, I do. If we look in the 1738 treaty that was cut with the British and the Maroons, we'll see a lot of the answers that we're looking for there in terms of what caused the division that doesn't go away in our yes. society. And I think if we look at it with, a, with not with malice or to create more division, but if we're really looking at the solution that is going to fix what's happening in our inner cities and no rural communities and by extension, the whole of Jamaica, as you can mm -hmm. see. We're going to have to just deal with those real truths, you know, some real dark things happen in our history and the yes. people that it matters most to are now becoming victims of those circumstances and we don't have enough voices to really come to the floor and to tell the people that you are worth more than what you're doing to yourself right now. Mm -hmm. Your history is so rich. It's Jamaica history is so rich. It's so... It's so great, it's so first, you know, there's so many firsts in our history and we were never ever a violent place. Jamaica was never ever that violent place that everybody is making it out to be. Violence was introduced when the slave ships pull up out here. You understand? And, and the determination by our colonizers to keep us in that kind of a suppression is the legacy that we now have. Mm -hmm. as culture you know so the, div the divide is among whom all of us so the divide the is the so black africans so, who were brought yes. here so they are the, against so, their will yes so they are they are africans that were here on the island that were not slaves that did not come to the island because they were slaves they were free africans yes they were africans that were brought on the slave ship that rebelled against slavery in, in its formality and went up into the mountains to join these free, what they call free Negroes back in the day. So Jamaica had free Negroes living here in the form of Paul Bogles them. Paul Bogles them had land and had money and was very rich. Nanny, Nanny transported herself here with her servants. That is telling you that this woman came as a queen. She came as somebody who was well off. So she was not a slave in that sense. So why, do, why are we this way? It's the mix. It's all the different tribes that were forcefully taken here mm -hmm. alongside the ones who came by free will, alongside those who came as indentured slaves. So it's a whole melting pot of cultures 
that culminate on this island. But the most important one to pay attention to, I think, Winford, is the free people, the, 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 the true inheritance of this country, Jamaica. And I think those are the ones who are killing themselves. Those are the ones who are poor and impoverished. Those are the ones who are having the, 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 the family issues, the domestic violence, the, 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 the hatred among man and man. The youths that are killing each other, they don't even know why they're fighting each other. You know, so it's wherever they are influenced, they, they grow from so there. You, are you, the people of Africa in the sense. Yes. Which is, which is about 98% of Jamaica's population. So That speaks for itself. Right. So, but where it's such a strong majority, yes. it, could we blame anybody else for, for what we... Yes, there's a lot of people to be blamed. Thomas Thistlewood yes. is one of those people. Thomas Thistlewood came to Jamaica from England as a little poor white man and became a slave owner and a plantation owner in Westmoreland. That's why I would like to say to the youths of Westmoreland, look at your history, know you, who you are before you're killing each other in the gruesome ways. Yes. We see Westmoreland people now going down that violent road. Go look up who Thistlewood was and understand that that type of violence is no legacy to be flirting around with because this man did some of the most gruesome things to Jamaican people. And it was to Jamaican people who did not want to be slaves, Winford. Yes. At one time, you had 12,000 white people in Jamaica when slavery was at its peak. Yes. And because of resistance, it dwindled down to about 2,000 white people. Now, Jamaica plays a very important role in the black story, mm -hmm. this little island, Jamaica, mm -hmm. where understanding where our indigenous rights as a people is concerned and where slavery impacted us, yes. right? So you had people who were free and living freely and the slave ship came. The slave ship came with forced slavery from our African brothers all, because, to stick up in there, so in fact, mm -hmm. If Africa is as great as we are, and, and black people, can you tell me or deter me from believing that Africans were traveling as free people before slavery? Like, you had rich enough Africans mm. who could go on their ships and their boats and could travel the seas and could explore in the farm of the moors and all these great, mm. tall, strong black men who would do that freely. Mm. You're telling me that none of them could have None of them couldn't sail and come to Jamaica and decide that they would want to set up shop in a place like Jamaica as free people. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're saying. If it is that we're going to level the playing field and tell the people the truth about who they are, black Jamaicans, that they were free Jamaicans and they were enslaved Jamaicans, and slavery caused all of us to be in the position that we're in, the out of many one that we're trying to establish came from that. It came from that division that was established by these colonizers who came along, saw the unity among us, the informal culture that we're trying to fix now, started from the fact that the free Jamaicans that were living up in the hills that would help the runaway Africans, they said one would come back to the English and tell them about the plans that the original Jamaicans had, and then they would be killed mm -hmm. in the 1738 treaty part of the agreement was for the Maroons to capture any Jamaican who dared to go against slavery. And if we fast forward to where we are today, Winford, in 2021, and looking at what violence is doing to Jamaica and who violence is doing it to. And if you look also at the parishes, Winford, it will link you also back to the days of those resistance, mm -hmm. you know? Paul Bogle was not the same as Kodjo. Kodjo signed a contract with the English. Paul Bogle them and Nandi them did not agree. So if we have that as a part of our culture, how, how are we gonna get it to come together without blood? That's a great question. How do you link that to these predators around Jamaica now? Yeah. We're going around. And especially the, the sexual predators. Yes. Right? How do you make that link? So that link is made through what... A, 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 um, there was a weapon used by Tislewood 
yes. called the Derby Dose. Yes. Now, if you permit me, I'm not edit it out, do. See? <laughs> <laughs> the Derby okay. Dose can be linked directly to sexual violence in Jamaica because of what it was used for, right? Mm. So it was, a, it was a thing like they'd catch a runaway slave. It was only meted out against free runaway slaves. Yes. Not slaves who were confining and doing what Massa wanted, but those who were resistant, right? And so they would catch them, tie them up, chop them up, put salt, vinegar, all these kind of stuff in their wounds, mm -hmm. tie them out in the open, for, have them oh, yeah. have other slaves defecate on, in their mouths and have them there gag for hours, mm -hmm. right? That's what original Jamaicans had to go through to resist colonization. Men were forcefully raped in front of their wives by other men just to break them into um, conforming to slavery. So these things, homosexuality, um, sexual violence, the separation in the household, turning the man against the woman, the woman against the man. You know, we had different tribes like the Fenty and and, and, and Fenta, all the other tribes that, were, that came here were not necessarily friends. Yeah. They were all feuding. So they mm -hmm. used tribe against tribe and used this tribe to... So you look at that legacy that was not fixed. No one addressed it. No, they said slavery ended and all these mechanisms were left in place to be used by anybody who came along. Mm -hmm. And so instead of everyone coming together and saying, let's heal what had happened, they are now putting more salt in the wound to where we are now, where people are now believing that it is our culture to behave the way how we see our people behaving, and it is not our culture. It was forced on us to behave in this way. And we're asking the powers that be, if you really love the kids that are in the inner city communities, that are in the poorer communities of this country, I am asking Richard Curry, right now, who knows the truth about the original story, to tell the rest of Jamaican youth how the Maroon community managed peace. How, do, how did they manage to be so peaceful with all of what is happening in Jamaica? If we're all going to help Jamaica, this is how we're going to do it. We are going to tell the people the truth about who they are, about what happened. Uh, that's, we don't have to continue to do Songs like these, just to point out that as much as some people can walk around and feel like Jamaica is this paradise, this is not for some. People here have it as a predator's paradise where they have so many grief and pain, and that is in the majority, Winford. The people that matters is who we speak for, mm -hmm. not those who the system protect in the, slave, in, the, in the form of the slave masters. And we need more voices to tell Jamaican people that they were always a peaceful people and a loving people. The iry and the peaceful and all of those things were real about some of us. All right, let's pause right here and hear where your voice yeah. has said, <laughs> Queen. <laughs> let's go right here. Paradise. All right, that, so that's the song, Predator's Paradise from Queen Africa. That's our latest cry against Violence, predatory violence in Jamaica. And say, oh, we Winnie, say, oh, I cry. You know, because yeah, I will away for a ball. I will away for a ball, yeah, man. Somebody need to tell Jamaica people, sorry about the, war, the first war. You see, the first maroon war, mm -hmm. Jamaica need a hug for that war there. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and it's like, it's like, it's like, it's, it's like all of these overseers, these onlookers, you know, because even from in those days, you had onlookers, you know who saw what was happening in Westmoreland and was just looking on on it. And if you look today, mm -hmm. our society is just looking on at Jamaican people, killing off themselves and chatting up their mouth about changes and, and who love Jamaica, you know. So if them see us as artists, not Queen Africa alone, the list long, mm -hmm. an artist will try to make a difference through music and try to show with fellow artists them say, 
as much as we have talent and we can do as we like with the talent, there are people who look to us who experience real issues in them everyday life and just something where we do different because I always, even though I bash my fellow artists them sometimes for, for being irresponsible, but I always remember so we are human win for, do you understand? Sure. We are human being, every artist are human, I think say, artists are the human where the almighty choose for show other people for either become them better self or them worse self, mm -hmm. do you understand what I say? So it's not like I say me I put everything on artist's shoulder but I like Vibes Cartel for no say, as much as him still big from jail, him can't be big from jail for a different purpose now. To show the youth them say, life matters, my lord. <laughs> you see what I say? All of the intense them and the, all of the new youth them. I can't love all of them and I'm not against them. You understand? There's no reason for me to come sit down for your show. And go on, like I say, more than any one of them little youth that we are trying the music for. Just better them family too. You know, the very inner city them. When you see them come over, when you hear Joshua you talk, and everybody come down for him and make it look like the little youth not talk with him, no. He might talk with him, no, and he might talk with him free Jamaica and self, too. You understand? So, what he need is guidance. He needs somebody to show him where to say and how to say, take out the big alcohol back low time and when he's going to do him interview them and them think they make sure him head level and this is how the youths now we are looking for him as fans can see him and be responsible and can see something and that's how we're going to make the solution you know we can talk about the problems all day long because they are everywhere the solution is all of us coming together and saying yes we air buju bantan we all need to come together and tell the people say so we air we are human beings we air let's come together now and fix what happened to us as a people? All of the artists, them, we are feud with them one another. Make we call each other, you know, and make it up. You know what I mean? We don't look good upon the world stage. The entire world look upon Jamaica as the example, you know, my lad. And when the world are look upon, we know a fool, we are look like upon the world stage, you know. We are look like we know work nothing. Now Jamaica set every example, Winford. Movado, Vibes Cartel. Yes. Beanie Man. Bounty killer, spice, lady saw, intense, eye water. The division is deliberate. Uh, that's Jamaica people feed from. All these names I just call are people who feud amongst themselves as big. Now we have it in a Rasta now. Mm. Rasta draw line now. Gay Rasta, straight Rasta, and that is now. The conversation has to move in forward. If you get the point of me, I try yes. to make. Are we going to just sit down and create this and that? Are we going to try to create a middle piece now? We are in everybody who they part whichever side. Make we come in at the middle now mm -hmm. and say enough is enough. Enough is enough. We all establish what we can do, how we can do it. It is not benefiting the mass in the way it should. So if we can all come together. To bring the mass to its knees where it they know. Make we come together and make the mass. But I don't think anybody is benefiting. I don't think no the perpetrators one. are benefiting. They are not. The politicians Jamaica. now behaving like they are the new dons. So they they just doing what the artists them used to do now. Mm. And so the people are following them now. As the new dance and, and the problem exists, when we are gonna fix that? We are gonna pass 2022, 20, 23, 24, 25, when the new world order established and everybody are move on, we are gonna still down here a kill what we can find. Mm. It don't make no sense, man. I'm talking about it is not going to fix it either. So yes, we cannot rightfully come out and bash Jamaica people win for because something needs to say first mm -hmm. before the bashing take place. So if you don't know who you are, who, how you gonna know what to fight for? Yes. You know? That's why I said, that's why I want them to question themselves. Who you gonna know question what to fight for? Question the urges that you have to do these things, to do harm to one another. Question where they're coming from. And that will lead you to answers that you will uncover for yourself. And that will be the beginning of your change. Because if you have this, the way people want to have adversaries, Queen, is unbelievable. I'm Why? Going to give you you an just, idea you for just your keep show. wondering. Why? I'll give you an idea for your show. Yeah. For on stage. Because the inner city youths, they watch you, right? All of Jamaica. You can come on on your program and have a thing where you have, nowadays you can do vines like, a minute, a second vine, and yes. you get a full message, a full story out. 
you can start creating stuff like that for, for kids to say a scenario. So you have a quick skit with one of them um, Javi there, one of them you there, you know, mm. the, 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 the comedians. Have them do some skits and scenarios, just quick musical for your program, just a little part where you're adding to on stage. So you say, all right, somebody will fight over an iPhone credit today. And you create a scenario around that and a quick solution to it. And that kid looking at it is going to have a flip in their head in, the, in that moment. These are the little things that you guys that have this, the, the, the ears and the eyes of the mask can do in your way towards them. Because when on stage coming on on a Saturday, everybody wants to see our, who's coming on and what's go, what's, what it's go, um, going to be about. So mm -hmm. that's how we collectively, this is what I ask of all our corporate entities, be more than just a product seller and a product promoter. Because on every crime scene you go, you find these products scattered all over there. Yes. So what, who, what exactly are you trying to say to young people? You know, how are you planning to help them in a real holistic way, in a real sensible way? And we know, we have, we have done this, Winford, in many communities where we seize war for more than two years and all we need is the help from the government and the corporate, whoever is in power, to continue it, to build a community centre, build a, a tech centre, just to continue the peace so that the youths who get frustrated and you have a girl in the inner city, maybe you go in one of them inner city and the man mm. and go look on the condition where these youths have to learn how to love each other. I know, Queen. You know what I mean? I know. If, if, yeah. they, if we got some initiatives, say, Adam Stewart, yeah. I'm calling you out in this interview. Make we start one community at a time, sweep up and zinc fence take down. See? And make it paint in little wall them, paint up, make all the youth them have talent. Make we start them kind of initiative that touchable. We have 14 parishes. We can make it within a three month span. We can do community to community. All of those who have billions of dollars with them and make up. And they said Jamaica and them we are kill themselves. Just imagine if you did empower them. How much how much rich Jamaica you that us have? You, know, so you can't just want them to just come buy your products and go back and kill themselves and who left come buy what left. You understand me? I say we all, if we love this country like how we all say we do, man. This is what we all have to do. You know what I mean? The whole we have to just go for them you there and save them. Because some nice children, them two are dead in a man. Mm -hmm. You see what I say? Some nice kids, or some, some bright, if, if, if you all reason with them and hear some ideas where them have, or nobody never hug them yet, win for They don't know what it means to get a hug. Or even come out of the communities them where they might kill them one another. You know, when them get them gone, they were worth five hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars for one. Who give them them? You know? So that's why we are so we have ball upon the 1738 treaty holders. See? The Richard Curry's the offsprings. Mm. To come tell Jamaica you to unite, man, and make we have the one Jamaica kind of one Jamaica now established both here. When one dead off and then the next one will just come in and come, all right, you're not going to feel good doing it. You know, you're not going, you're not going to enjoy it. You know, and it, and it is worth it to fight for these kids in Jamaica. It's, come on, man. It's worth it. Well, Queen, it's worth it to have you on our stage talking yeah, like that. It's worth it, as usual. <laughs> It's your place, so, yeah, man. you know, just take it away, sweetheart. We're with you all the way. Yeah, man. You know and for mean? Christmas, I just want to say to every Jamaican where I feel a pain in them belly that right now from that something there, them lose somebody. Or, you know, just go on and love God same way. You know, find forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to start telling one another to find forgiveness because it's a healing factor. You know what I mean? Just for this Christmas, just forget about that, that area. You know, and just love your family, cook some food and pray, you know what I mean? As a country, we always used to pray and love God. We need to just, God, you know what I mean? Being a Christian, you know, far from being a Christian, you know. <laughs> <laughs> love God. All right, you know? Queen. Well, you know, that's her. Yeah. That's Queen. Queen, thank you so much again. Yeah, man, love every time. And uh, we're just imploring you to listen to what she has. Listen, go find her. You can get this again on our pages yep. in social. You know where to find her and get more of this. And uh, trust me, what she's saying is absolutely true and will be helpful to some of the, the challenges we have in our country.
yeah. with predators, with murderers, with, you know. with all this crime. So please listen. Mm -hmm.